Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a hair tutorial or a hair video. Uh, this hair is a hot mess. I am going to be using a flat iron, a paddle brush, and ORS, um, the olive oil heat protective serum. That's all I use on my hair to when I straighten my hair. Normally I blow dry it but you guys can see it right in the background. Um, what I do is I usually section my hair into three different parts. But I usually start with the bottom part and then I work in the middle part and then um, the front part of my head. As you guys can tell, I'm really in pain because it's matted and tangled up because it's been sitting in the bun for <laughs> quite a few days. Um, I've just been washing it and then throwing it back up in a bun instead of actually doing anything to it because um, as many of you guys know, I deal with depression. So, you know, sometimes when depression hits, the first thing that goes is the hair well that's for me but I know usually for a lot of people um the hygiene is the main thing that really is affected when you're dealing with depression and so um this is why I like to straighten my hair more than anything else especially around this time of the uh, year when it's you know cool and the humidity is not as high so um, as you guys can see, I'm going to be parting my hair and then I'm going to detangle it with the paddle brush and add the heat protectant and then start blow, um, flat ironing my hair. Um, I keep my flat iron at about 300 degrees. Um, that's as far as my flat iron goes, but I really don't want it to burn it. I just wanted to straighten it. So I'm kind of glad that that's as high as it goes anyways, because otherwise I will be burning myself or basically burning my hair off. No, I know that it was you who made me feel so messed up. Hanging out with new females, cute. But are they even real bad? Jealousy, I think it's jealousy. But hell with it, still look a melody. Or maybe I got problems.
you'll see me really focusing on the roots of my head and that's because that's the part that is the most difficult for me to straighten but I'll burn in myself and then I just glide it quickly across the ends because I don't really want to torch my ends it's more so for my roots and the middle part and then the rest of the hair it just gets a pass over a couple few times depending on where I flat iron my hair it depends on how long I stay there so like the back of my head is super fine and it's pretty much already straight so I don't really spend a whole lot of time on the back of my head whereas in the middle of my hair it gets extremely uh, difficult because it's so thick compared to the rest of my hair As you can see, a rise in the back, and she passed out on the couch. <laughs> So here you can see that I'm going to be doing the middle part of my hair and this is the part that's the most thickest part of my whole head and it takes me a little bit longer to get it straight the way I wanted to because of how thick it is. Um, so I try to focus on small sections when it comes to fly ironing this, this part. Um, it takes a while and as y'all can see I'm struggling trying to detangle it. So this area I, I tend to spend more time on because it takes a little bit longer for me to get as straight as I want it to. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm actually using um, natural lighting. I have no like ring light or anything. So if the lighting fluctuates throughout the whole video, it's because of that. So yeah, I apologize. Sat right by your side. Why don't you tell me now? Oh, why you calling me late at night? Saying you need a ride when you don't tell me why. So, um, I pretty much repeat the same steps on the other side of my hair. Um, I am working on the three sections. I do the bottom, the middle, and the top. And it's pretty much the same thing on this side as well. Um, it's just a little difficult sometimes because depending on how matted and detangled it is. But yeah, that's pretty much the same thing on this side. And it usually takes me about an hour, hour and a half to do my hair. Um, if I would have blow dried it, it would have took a little bit longer. So that's why I like to minimize the amount of heat that I put on my hair by just letting the air dry and then flat ironing it. <laughs> Got 
gotta think about you We gotta think for each other So don't go wasting what you feeling Don't be dumb, be dumb, be dumb oh, oh, oh. Just to finger comb through my hair. I prefer to finger comb my hair rather than use a brush or a comb or anything. Um, it's just so much easier than feeling a whole bunch of pain in my scalp. Um, I tried to explain this to the girls too about when doing their hair, but they like doing their own hair how they want to do it. So um, this is usually how I do my hair. I like to finger comb it even when it's curly. Um, and I leave it curly, I still prefer to finger comb it, and then if I can't get the knots out the way I want to, then I'll go in with a brush, but yeah, this is for the most part, I usually finger comb my hair. I've been thinking about the good times, I've been sleeping through the long nights, I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how am I 
There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah Cause you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love Catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep a thought straight. With you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind. But why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than a mountain. All because of you. You and I were so sweet, so sweet. Talk until we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep.
be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel, but if you dig a little deeper. So this is where I do like quick touch ups where I feel like I missed um, certain areas, um, especially in the back where I can't really see when it comes to uh, straightening my hair, especially around the root area and the top round area. Um, and then I also use the powder brush to get rid of any kinks that I had done missed when I was originally combing it out or finger combing it. So this is how it comes out this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like it and if you're new here subscribe join the family and i will see you on the next video bye yeah.